Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash. Today we are making a video that I knew was coming, but I never wanted to make this video. But we got a huge announcement in regards to the future of The Flash to talk about in today's video. So please be sure to leave a like and a comment to support the channel. Also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos so you can get notified. So our Flash videos are going nowhere. We will continue to make Flash videos until the end of the show and even beyond that because there's always the chance that the Flash could return and so, and so this leads me into today's video topic. We're going to be talking about the official end to the Flash because it was just announced that the Flash is ending with season 9. Now this, like I said before, is something that I've expected for a while. However, I really didn't think that season 9 would be the final season. I thought it was going to go on longer. And I'll explain my reasons in a minute. But for now, we're going to be going over the article with the announcement of The Flash coming to an end from Entertainment Weekly. The link is in the description below if you want to go read it. The article begins like this. The Flash is speeding to an end. The upcoming ninth season will be the last of the CW superhero drama starring Grant Gustin as the Scarlet Speedster, EW has learned. The final season will also be shortened, consisting of only 13 episodes. So that is obviously a big revelation and we'll get round to that in just a second. But Eric Wallace has released a statement, as most of you guys know, Eric Wallace is the showrunner of The Flash and he's been talking about The Flash's potential end for a couple of years now. So he goes on to say, nine seasons, nine years of saving Central City while taking audiences on an emotional journey full of heart, humor, and spectacle, showrunner Eric Wallace said in a statement. And now Barry Allen has reached the starting gate for his final race. So many amazing people have given their talents, time, and love to bring this wonderful show to life each week. So as we get ready to honor the show's incredible legacy with our exciting final chapter, I want to say thank you to our phenomenal cast, writers, producers, and crew over the years who helped make The Flash such an unforgettable experience for audiences around the world. And so, yeah, that is his final speech in regards to The Flash officially ending. So this has been definitely something that they've been talking about for a while now. You've heard Eric Wallace in many interviews inferring that he thought maybe season 8 could be the final season and he was going into season 9 in the same way. And so I believe there's been conversations behind the scenes, especially with all the cast renewing their contracts this year. Like we just saw Candace renewing her contract. We also saw the CW offering Grant a multiple season deal. And he did not take that, he went for the season by season, and if you guys didn't know, I've talked about this before, but it's better when the show is going on longer to do a season by season deal because you can negotiate the amount of money that you get paid, so it's better for the actors and better for the people who are working on it, and so that's why Grant didn't take that, but also... I think the main reason, similar to why Supergirl ended, is Flash is led by Grant Gustin, and Grant just literally had a kid with his wife recently. And I feel like this is the perfect time for the show to come to an end, and I feel like that is what he is thinking right now, like, we've had a great run, so let's end this here. The one thing that I'm actually quite surprised about and I was not expecting is The Flash Season 9 only having a shortened season. I really feel like we should have got a full final season like they did with Supergirl because at least with Supergirl compared to Arrow, we got a full 20 episode season. We had a proper way and a proper long time to actually be with the character and then see the character off by the end of the season. And so if I'm going to be completely honest, I'm not happy that it's a shortened season. I was really hoping for at least like 18 episodes. 20 would have been awesome, of course. But we now have the official confirmation that season 9 of The Flash will be the final season and also it will be 13 episodes. So 13 episodes is similar to what Superman Lois does, it's just a shortened season. Superman Lois even had 15 last season, so this is actually shorter. And so this just means they don't have to put that much effort and that much time into filming. They'll film like half the amount that they normally do. So that's why, and people have been theorizing since 
the announcement of the starting date of The Flash when they go back to filming in September and the fact that they end so early in like March time I believe it was because normally they wouldn't finish filming until like April May time so that got people speculating oh why is this season potentially filming for a much less time well here we have our answer it's going to be 13 episodes and if we backtrack a bit and just remember what Eric Wallace has been saying in a couple of interviews recently he was talking about how this season he has three graphic novels planned but he didn't know of the episode count apparently and so he was planning for just two villains two graphic novels in the normal format that we've had in the last couple of seasons if the season was shorter and now we know that the season is shorter Eric knows it and I think he's known it for a while so that means that we're going to have two graphic novels this season we'll have two villains and I don't think we'll have many interlude episodes I think we'll have like two max interlude episodes I would be surprised if there was more than that because after all this is the final season they have to make it as impactful as possible and if I'm being completely honest I actually feel very confident about this being the final season and the fact that Eric Wallace is on the show. I think Eric has done a good job with the show since he's been the showrunner and I feel like out of all the showrunners he's the most passionate about The Flash and he is great at fan service. Just look at the last season, it was fantastic having reversed Flash so much. Like two whole graphic novels, he was the main villain, Armageddon and at the end of the season. So he is great at fan service. So I really do feel like Eric is going to do a great job with the final season. I just think it's a shame that it's 13 episodes. I don't know who got the idea. Maybe that was just part of everyone's agreement. Look, we'll end it here and we'll end it on a shorter season just to make it kind of quicker and get to the point rather than having a bunch of interlude episodes. So hopefully they really get started in episode one and they take it home all the way to the mid-season and then when you get to the mid-season you take it home once again with the final graphic novel and so let's just talk about Grant for a little bit I really do feel like this is the same situation like I said before of what happened to Melissa what happened to Steven because if you guys didn't know the flash is ending it's not being cancelled what shows were cancelled well that was in fact legends of tomorrow naomi and batwoman they were cancelled that was the network shutting them down this is not the network shutting them down as you guys may recall earlier in the video and in the past i've said grant was offered a multiple season deal that would mean he would be signed up for season 10 but he did not take that deal so we can infer from all of the information that we know and the way that supergirl and arrow ended and also black lightning they all negotiated to end the show at a certain point and they all agreed on it including the network, the main star of the show, that being Grant here, the showrunner of the show, Eric Wallace and all of the main recurring and regular cast members and the crew as well, whoever is directly involved in the decision making, the higher ups basically. They came together recently and they came to the conclusion this would be a good time to end the show. Despite me wanting 10 seasons, just to be like a nice round number, I feel like 9 seasons is just not round enough, so I would have liked if they did like 2 short seasons, if there was any way of doing that, so there is no chance of that happening anymore. But yeah, 9 seasons, I think this is definitely going to be a good final season. The Flash has had a great run, and I think will not be forgotten by Arrowverse fans. And also, this actually marks a big, big moment for the Arrowverse because, as you guys know, we have Superman Lois and the recent announcement of it not being directly in the Arrowverse, but not being on Earth Prime, but kind of in the Arrowverse still. And with that, we also got recent comments that maybe some of the new shows that are coming to the CW that are DC related would be set in that Superverse. It would not be set in the wider Arrowverse, like it will be more connected to the other shows. So if that is all true, this means that The Flash would pretty much mean the end of the Arrowverse as we know it, and that is just very, very sad. I really hope we get a Flash spin-off after The Flash ends. I really feel like we should get a Nora and Bart spin-off. That is the number one show that I want. I think everyone wants it. We'll talk more about that in a separate video, potentially later this week. But please tell me what do you think about this in the comments below. Are you happy that The Flash is ending on its own terms? But we kind of knew it was going to end on its own terms because it's the best show for the CW like it does the best on the network. 
so that's not something that they want they're probably quite disappointed that it's ending and that's why I'm thinking maybe they're going to be planning a flash spin-off because it was so popular and you would presume if they did a Bart and Nora spin-off all of the flash fans would come back to that and so that's why I say it's a shame that the Arrowverse is potentially ending because you're losing out on the core audience because I think a lot of the audience who are a little bit neglected by the decision that Superman and Lois made and the fact that these other shows aren't connected so by continuing the Arrowverse with a Flash spin-off which is the most popular show on the CW it only makes sense and so that's what I feel like right now also if you have any other theories about like how season 9 is gonna end obviously we know that we got Cobalt Blue in this season potentially at the start he could be the first main villain and then whatever else you guys think could happen and also it's a big shame that we're not getting like a big crossover hopefully we get a mini crossover Eric Wallace was teasing recently that maybe a Supergirl character who hasn't appeared previously would show up in like one or two episodes of The Flash that's obviously very exciting to see a Supergirl character back but it's a big shame that we're not going to get a huge crossover this year considering this is a Flash's end. I feel like that's one advantage that Arrow had because in its final season it had Crisis on Infinite Earths and so it ended with a bang and that is what some of these shows are missing out on and hopefully the Flash ends with a bang. I would presume they're going to try and bring back a lot of people from the past like they've been doing recently but maybe someone like Zoom could come back or even Reverse Flash. I feel like Reverse Flash has to show up one more time if this is the final season, which it is. So, yeah, as Eric Wallace says, Barry Allen has reached the starting gate for his final race, his last race, and this has definitely been a show with an incredible legacy, and now we're heading into the final chapter, and hopefully it's going to be an unforgettable experience watching The Flash Season 9. Before we finish this video, I wanted to just quickly keep reading down the Entertainment Weekly article because they actually commented on some things that Eric Wallace talked about recently in regards to a potential end to the show. And so they said when Wallace recently spoke to EW about the Season 8 finale, he said that while he hoped Season 9 wouldn't be the final run of the episodes, which is definitely a big thing to take into account because that means that Eric didn't really want the end of the shows, although of course he would be open to it ending if the star of the show or the stars didn't want to continue. So you can pretty much infer this is probably Grant's decision where he's like, okay, I got a kid, like probably now is a good time to get off. And so let's continue with this because he goes, because there's still so many Flash stories to tell, that's where I think maybe a spin-off could come from Eric Wallace. But let's continue with this. So he says he was still preparing for that to be the case. And he goes, and this is a quote, I don't want the audience to get caught with a cliffhanger that doesn't get resolved or anything like that, he said. And then he goes on to say, I want to make sure that we complete the journey that Barry, Iris and Team Flash has been on. And then also at the time, Eric Wallace said he was still trying to figure out how he wanted to ultimately end the series. He says, I know the plot and game of the next year is, that's not a problem. And he says, ironically, it's still set up very succinctly in the season finale for this year, that being season 8. However, where all the characters end up emotionally, that's still in flux. In between season 8 and season 9, I'm going to get a bit more of a chance to get a little bit of a breather to think about where do I really want to send these characters off emotionally as people and as human beings? What do I want their final goodbyes to say to this wonderful loyal audience to be? That's what my summer homework is. And so obviously he's been prepping for this for a while. He's talked about the show potentially ending a couple of times. He thought maybe season seven, maybe season eight, and he was thinking maybe season nine, and it turned out to be true. So. Yeah, season 9 is going to be 13 episodes, it's going to be cut short. I really hope to see season 10, but that is not going to be possible anymore. And remember, Flash season 9 starts filming in September, so that is next month. We should be starting to see some set photos very soon. And remember, The Flash season 9 episode 1 will air in January 2023, and then we will continue to about, say, May time, and that's when the show will end. 
But that pretty much does it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, really helps out the channel. Also subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any future videos, and for now, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.